and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later over there for some more Dread Hordes Climb. We played this about four or five days ago um, as a donation deck, and it was a lot of fun. This was Jay Z Wan's deck, and it actually felt pretty strong too. And so I'm going to go ahead and take it over to the ranked queues. Uh, we're in like the middle of Diamond or so right now, almost to Mythic. Uh, and so I'm going to try this out over there because it did feel pretty strong. And, you know, just, just uh, going to go ahead and give it a little bit of a challenge there. What's up, Sloth? Thanks for that sub there. I appreciate that. Hey, Kafios, good morning. Um, so, yeah, just like the end of the video last time, I'm only making one change. Last time we had the two Moment of Cravings over here on the sideboard. It didn't really feel like we needed it because we had, we had so many, like, two drops anyway against aggro. just didn't seem impactful enough. And I wanted more of these Enter the God Eternals because of how how much we're a Dreadhorde Invasion deck. You know, I really want all the Enter the God Eternals to be able to pump up our Amass token to make it six power a little more reliably. So I think that's the card that I want against aggro decks. So we got the other two Enter the God Eternals in there. We're also kind of discussing Duress or Thought Erasure. I I can really see either one being in the sideboard. I'm going to stick with Duress, though, being the one-mana card with us having a whole lot of twos. Um, but yeah, uh, basically, I guess if you haven't really seen the deck, uh, we are in a mass deck. You know, we have, like, the Gleaming Overseers and the Dreadhorde Invasions, and uh, we're trying to take our big zombie army and give it flying and get it up in the air. Hadana's Climb just works so well with a mask because it's a creature that already has counters on it, so you can flip Hadana's Climb pretty quickly. And then even if you have like a 3-3 Amass token, you can double its power and toughness. You know, make it a 6-6 flyer and get that lifelink uh, trigger a lot earlier by using the Winged Temple of Araska. So those two cards work really well together. And then besides that, we have some other two drops that work really well with Hadana's Climb. Um, <clears throat> incubation Druid in particular can get you a whole lot of mana whenever you put the counter on it, and then when you have a whole lot of mana, then you have Hydroid Crisis, and that all works out. So yeah, that's our deck. It's pretty it's pretty basic. Lots of fours uh, across the board. Lots of four ofs. Um, not too fancy. We're just going to kind of do, do our thing. All right, let's go ahead and give it a try. So we're going to play in traditional ranked... And we'll be playing five matches. Always the goal whenever we play the five matches here is to go three and two. You know, the ranked matches are, are pretty tough, and going three and two is, is really good. Um, so that's, that's always what we're trying to do. So we'll see how we do. And kind of move on. We're going to play a couple other decks in ranked also. Jeskai Storm Conduit, and then my... Uh, personal favorite deck to rank up with right now, Bant Arcbow after that. And then we have a donation deck for later that I got this got the slot saved for somebody that said they had a donation deck for you know donated for the fourth slot here on this Saturday. But I do not know what that deck is currently. It's a sweet looking hand, but there's no black mana. So, <clears throat> unfortunately, Incubation Druid doesn't just get to add, add black mana for us all the time. That would be nice. If it was like Paradise Druid and could just add uh, mana of any color. Okay. Which one of these do I want to get down right now? I think the Dread Horde Invasion. Like, I could go Paradise Druid and then... Or, sorry, Incubation Druid, and then next turn I can double spell. Instead of just single spelling here. But this... But getting the Dreadhorde Invasion down first does let me um, get that uh, get the Amass to token started. Hmm. 
All right, get that eight light slink in there, back up to 20. And we have lethal next turn if our opponent doesn't have anything. There we go. Just fly on over the top. Flying zombie armies. Good old flying zombie armies. I don't know if I really need to change anything here. Didn't really see a whole lot of their deck. Um, Enter the God Eternals is like the only card that is really kind of considering, but I don't think we need it. Let's let's try it again. <laughs> yeah, Hadana's Climb and Dreadhorde Invasion. That's that's a that's a good match. It is. <laughs> if only all the games will go that easily. <laughs> I have a feeling they won't, though. <laughs> Just like you. So the Overseer is going to give our a mass token menace. Protect the virtue of this world. The land shall conquer you. Yeah, turn three Nissa on the play. It's a tough one to beat still. Um, so debating whether playing the Overseer or just killing the forest... I think I play the Overseer, actually, because I think we just need to use the mana. Well. Yep. Looks like their hand was pretty perfect. Behold, nature's true power. I mean, this is a great card. Yeah, I mean, it's this is just some of the most powerful. Yeah, the, some of the most powerful stuff you can be doing in standard. Land War Elf lets you get to really fast starts. Uh, same with the other, the two mana mana creatures also. And um, it's one of the reasons why, like Deafening Clarion, for example, is just is really good because, uh, or just sweepers in general. Yeah, it's. Turn three Nissa is hard to compete with, honestly. All right, so we know a little bit more about their deck. So they are a mass manipulation Nissa deck. So Tyrant Scorn is fine. But I wonder if I want like Duress, Negate, Immortal Sun, things like that instead. Elder Spell, of course, is an option also. We've seen them have like the main deck Ripjaw Raptors, another Ripjaw Raptor there. I am not feeling great about Growth Chamber Guardians.
If I take those out, I don't know about this. I don't know if I really want to be holding up two mana too much. Okay, I'm going to cut the Growth Chamber Guardians. I'm going to keep the Tyrant Scorns in. And I'm going to go with two Duress, two Immortal Sun. This hand looks a whole lot like our first one. I guess I should have gone Overgrown Tomb for the... And then breeding pool. I guess I would have not dealt one point of damage then. They're not nearly as good when they don't have mana creatures turn one and two. Melody and Nissa. So, you know, they can melody one of these other crappy creatures. Uh, Brontodon can blow up inv Invasion, though. So I got a two-turn clock. I mean, they have to melody Overseer. Thanks, K-Yo. Welcome to the channel. Yeah, like they have to do that. Um, but that's going to be... Uh, that's still going to be lethal. We hit the land drop. Keep the new wing temple. Make that 14. Boom. Man, those two work out pretty well together. Flying zombie army. I think that's going to be my YouTube title. The Flying zombie army. GG's. Cool, yeah, glad you're uh, loving the Bant Arcbow deck. Uh, yeah, I'm going to play that one later on today again. Uh, that's that's still my favorite deck also. It's the deck that I've had the most success with. Yeah, being on the play is nice. Uh, the opponent not having a whole bunch of mana creatures immediately is nice. Like, us having land War Elf, them not having land War Elf. All three of those games, whoever's on the play with turn one land, like... Yeah, the person that won was on the play of turn one Lanor Elf. Helps out a lot. Well, we, we have turn one Lanor Elf, but not on the play. 
Uh, red deck, let's not shock. Yeah. Alright, a little punish for not shocking. Now I don't even get to play the land we're off this turn now. I'm just ending up shocking on turn three and still playing it. Hand was really good. Can't just like let them untap with a spellbreaker because then the spellbreaker has hexproof. Hey Zbaj. Gross. Phoenix also? So yeah, just I could have played the force and played Krasis for three, but then I was expecting next turn to need to be able to play Krasis for um, Krasis for four the next turn. All right, Gruel, let's get these more Enter the God Eternals in here. And... I don't know if there's really anything I want to cut. I was a little slow by not playing the Land Orolf immediately. I mean, if I would have, they, they probably had that shock to just shock the Land Orolf anyway. Even if I would have just played it immediately. Um, their hand was pretty awesome. We came close to stabilizing. We need another couple life. Honestly, not seeing anything I necessarily like want to take out too much. I mean, I guess I'm just taking out a climb. And what's the other card? Is it one of the invasions? I guess it'll be one of the invasions. Yeah, next sub battle stream. Um, I need to update one of these. Need that. We have hit ten sub goals since the last sub battle stream. Ten of these sub goals over here, and we're gonna be doing it at fifteen. So we are five sub goals away. So I think I, I'm. I'm basically planning on next Saturday doing it. I'm pretty sure that we're going to be that we're going to have it there next Saturday. I mean, do we feel like we're going to draw a black source? I like this hand. If we can get if we can get one black source even without the contempt.
Hey, what's up, Daxter? Should've just kept the first one. Oh, that's our fourth sub today, also. I was one behind there. It's a tough thing about playing three color decks. You need like one of every color, but don't always get one of every color. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think so, KY. I've been uh, very happy with the Anarch Bow. This is a sad game. Wish I would have just kept the seven. But then, if I would have kept the seven, then we wouldn't, like, you know, then we just don't draw the black source at all. And then it's like, oh man, I wish I would have mulliganed. And, you know, it's just a no win situation. So if I play the invasion right now, I'm taking four going to seven, and then it starts losing me a life every turn. It's not gonna work. All right, one and one. One and one. So we've got three more matches here with this deck. We'll try to go two and one in those three. All right, all three colors. Let's keep. All right, well, we got a good opener against Mono Red with having the Enter the God Eternals in it. We'll see if we can draw some other cards to go along with it. It's a good seven-card hand. It's a good start. Definitely want to get a shock land in here and don't want to actually pay life to shock. So, you know, I, I could have paid to, I could have, you know, the Drown Catacomb would have entered tapped, so I could have paid two life to shock to be able to have the Incubation Druid untapped, but I don't think that was worth it. That was a good, that was a really good turn for them. Yeah, that's a pretty good turn three. Turn three playing Legion War Boss, but not just Legion War Boss. Playing Wizards Lightning, Skewer the Critics, and Gitsy Lava Runner. It's pretty good. So if I do Dreadhorde Invasion. Nah, I, I can't Dreadhorde Invasion here.
that's lethal. Man, we had Enter the God Eternals with two mana creatures and couldn't actually survive long enough to play it. Both mana creatures were bolted and then I was killed before I got to five mana. All right, let's get the rest of those in and let's get the Brontodons as well to do some blocking. Um, I think we just take out Climb here. Climb and Invasion are kind of weird for this matchup. Yep, they had a turn four kill plus while killing two mana creatures. Quite strong. So, like, Dreadhorde Invasion, like, if we actually attack with a zombie power six or greater with getting that lifelink, you know, that's amazing. But it's just, if we don't actually get there, it can be really rough. Like, what if I just try just taking out all of those cards? Get this back in. I'm going to try taking those out. Well, the exact same hand. Four lands, land of incubation druid, and to the god eternals. Really the exact same hand. Well, our, our next turn will be better. You know, last time, I guess it was our turn three we had. Yeah, I guess last time it was our turn three that we played Adonis Climb. No, Contempt is... Uh, I really like Contempt in this matchup. Like, there's times where there's Rekindling Phoenix or, or Chandra. And at the very least, it's Contempt is getting rid of, um, you know, Steamkin or a Chain Whirler at the very least. Sometimes you gotta give it up for the red deck. Both their hands have been really, really strong. Like, my hands have been good. Theirs have been uh, better than good. No. I was really hoping not to have them hit that fourth land there. Please don't have Frenzy. Please don't have Frenzy. Also, with all this other stuff. Come on. What? kind of auto tap is that
Why would you possibly just tap the two green sources, auto tap, and just leave three blue black lands? Meet this person. Hmm. I mean, I need to be attacking, because I can't just, like, sit back and win against a Frenzy, but... Pretty dead. Need to draw Bronson. I mean, even at that point, you know, like there's still all these other cards. It's just really unlikely that, that we can win this at this point. start their their turn was really bad also just you know casting just two shocks that's a start if I make this attack I'm essentially at five life where you know like two more burn spells kill me Yeah, we're dead. This is why I say that the red deck is the best deck in the format. Those, those two hands our opponent had were incredible. Both of them were. So the turn that I played into the God Eternals, I could have, of course, just played the Growth Chamber Guardian and held up Negate. Um, is the safest play against a, a Frenzy that was, you know, a potential Frenzy for the next turn. It was the absolute safest play. But they had, you know, they had the opportunity to have four mana the previous turn. Uh, did not play their fourth land drop. So I was hoping that they didn't a have the fourth land drop and b even if they did, even if they did draw the fourth land, then also have frenzy for the next turn. But they had them both.
Well, nothing's going to beat Mono Red 100% of the time. Alright, so this looks like the, the deck that we defeated earlier. Um, but, you know, we had two hands of... Both of our wins were Dreadhorde Invasion, turn two, Hedonis Climb, turn three. Not looking good for us, but we'll see. We can just draw a crisis at some point. I think it's more important to contempt Shalai than contempt Tristani, I believe, because the Shalai act activation will just go crazy. Our opponent is going to attack into Incubation Druid like that. So I'm playing the Drown Catacomb here instead of a Breeding Pool so that I can still have Tyrant Scorn available. Good news is my opponent can't really get through here. It's not too successfully. Wait, Joy, what are we doing? Hey, once again.
No, I'm not, I'm not going to kill it. So, you know, considering just killing the Incubation Druid to make, like, a, a potential Hydro Crisis for them worse, but if they have a Hydro Crisis here, I'm, I'm still just, like, really dead anyway. Rise, my elemental friend. Take this. Ugh. We need something to take out Nissa. Could use like a Hadana's climb or something. That was an unfortunate game. Hmm. Just want to get rid of the Growth Chamber Guardian again. Yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of Growth Chamber Guardian. Put into, uh, you know, like whenever like the like the board's gonna get really gummed up there. I mean, Growth Chamber Guardian is good because it's it gets me a whole lot more cards. But I want the extra removal here with the Enter the God Eternals because of cards like Tristani and Shalai that are gonna be pretty important to kill with the four that are four toughness. So I think those match up. So I think Enter the God Eternals matches up pretty well here. Um. So I'm going to grab a couple more of those, and then I'm just going to grab a couple of negates to try to counter Nyssa. Um, Finale of Glory. And um, Immortal Sun. Yeah, we could have some, some board wipes in the sideboard for these mana creature decks. I mean, our, our plan is... Our plan is just to go over the top, like flying with it on his climb. Or if we're, or if we have, um, or if we have Dreadhort, you know, Krasis, it on his climb, fly over the top. Um, Dreadhort invasion can attack with like a really big life linker. Also, uh, you know, we have like the menace thing where they have to like block with multiple things. Um, I 
Don't need to really shock here. So yeah, next turn we can have Krasis for a lot. Trust well, you'll thank me later. Don't worry. I got almost you. had Krasis for a lot. But fairy time walk. I'll protect you. So we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six. Graces for six next turn. And then we can make it a seven, seven, and flip climb. More like it. The land shall conquer you. I mean, we don't have this by any stretch. Next turn, they're going to be able to Teferi minus away a crisis. This game's certainly not over. Um. I think I attack them and make it so both my crises are lethal. And like other options attacking, I could attack Nissa and kill Nissa. I think attacking Teferi is the worst option. Maybe it's not. Just maybe it's not. Yeah, actually we'll do that. As soon as I think of one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, getting all the land or elves. I've got time. The land fights for us. Well, this is likely lethal. Unless there's something for one white mana that they have. I 
Yeah, buffing Shalai won't save them. We have 23 power trample in the air. Buffing Shalai is, you know, 23 minus 5 is 18. They're at 18. So they have like a little bit of life gain or something. Can't, yeah, they don't have enough wife or Lyris at all, anything like that. They don't have blue mana for deputy right now. It's just just a bunch of green and a white. If they yeah, like there's there's obviously cards, you know, Baffling End or any in white enchantment mode. There's obviously cards they could have right now, but it's just if they pass the turn, like what instant speed cards are they really playing? Yeah, you know, I don't think they're playing like Seal Away or anything like that. Like there's cards in the in standard, of course, that stops this, but I don't think there's anything that they would be playing. at the instant speed. So I don't think there's any harm in going for it. All right, game three. I think on the draw, I'm going to need duress more than negate. So, and uh, that's what I got. Little Teferi is, of course, really annoying. Um, Whenever my my strategy focuses around amassing a big token, Little Teferi just gets rid of the token and draws a card. But deputy detention also just like those kind of those kind of cards are all quite good against the strategy that we're playing. But those cards are just good in general also. All right, we'll take this and roll with it. Do I want to actually cast Duress on turn one? No, not against a five-card hand. So yeah, they're scrying to the top. Give them a little bit more time to find the Nyssa. Especially how they kept that card on top. Like, that card on top could be, like, the Nyssa. Uh, little Teferi... So now, you know, do I du go Duress Llanowar Elf against four cards? Or do I just Incubation Druid? All right, if I Druid, what am I looking at next turn? Four mana, I'm looking at Climb. I can't go Climb Elf Duress. I just think Nyssa and Immortal Sun, like those cards are the ones that I'm the most scared of. So I'm going to give them a, some more time, some more draw steps to, to look for those. And before they can do those cards, that's when I'm going to be um, casting Duress. All right, so this next turn, before they have the five mana... I've done the hero thing before.
Hey, undead. Here goes nothing. Okay. I do want the counter on the incubation druid. Also, I know I could have. Comp I know I could have 100% killed the Teferi. Could have 100% killed the Teferi by putting the counter on the mass token and then activating climb and hitting the Teferi. I'm gonna play the longer game though. I've got it. By getting this druid in play. Because the Teferi was not very long for the world. Sure it was an annoyance, but uh, the annoyance of them getting rid of it, well, let's see. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're in the end game now. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. In case we'd find the Llanowar Elf. Didn't do it for like the full seven. Now the game. Well, they got two mana. They got two mana. Okay. Yeah, I was going to just enter the God Eternals, that shall lie, and then I was going to climb the Enter the God Eternals. Yeah. All right, two and two. Crisis is good. All right, GG. Going to the uh, fifth and final match. We're right where we want to be. Get this win. Get a, a nice 3-2. <laughs> Thanks, KB. GG's. Okay. Let's see what we got. Yuck. Double yuck. Well, five card hands are usually pretty difficult to win with. I could see this winning with like turn two invasion and then overseer, overseer kind of thing. Maybe. Uh, 
No, that doesn't have black mana. I wouldn't keep this on, on like a seven card hand, but like with a six, but you know, having the scry. So we have like the two chances for a black source here. Ugh, I didn't get there. Well, that's unfortunate. It's never, you know, it's not super likely that the five card hands win anyway. It's a gamble. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to the London Mulligan roll. Yeah. You have more information whenever you're, you know, whenever you look at your six card hand, because you, you, you would know like all seven cards, for example. So you have like that information of knowing that, okay, we need to go to seven. Because then we would be able to see that other that other card on top. And knowing, alright, we're not actually getting this land. So Esper Hero. I don't really like Enter the God Eternals against Esper Hero. It's pretty expensive. Uh, most of their cards are Planeswalkers that are important. Um, I do like Duress, Elder Spell, Immortal Sun. What, which one of those I want to play, I'm not sure. I think I want like three Tyrant Scorns. Um, so we're looking at like three cards to add. Is he cutting a Gleaming Overseer or two, honestly? This matchup also. That can get me. Definitely want the Immortal Sons. And then uh, some Duresses. All right, let's try this. Hey, cool. No, pro good to hear that, Vincent. I um, hope you're enjoying your new laptop. All right, three lands. Hooray! Hooray, lands! our first game one we had one land one land and then game two zero land and then three we'll just have an embarrassment of lands over here with three lands um, we are playing against another person that plays magic just another online player Don't you hate whenever your opponent play like thought erasures and they like erasure over like this permanent that you just don't care about at all and you you're like man why can't you just draw that card I would love for you to draw a bunch of the sparks it only hits like the immortal sun in, in the whole deck yeah it's the only card in, in the whole deck really in the whole 75 right but it was right in the perfect spot for them to put in their graveyard. They don't have to draw it.
Um, I guess I bounce the 3-4. Just make them play it again, I guess. Yeah, Pound Sand wasn't bad. Turn two Razor, turn three Razor, turn four Kai's Wrath, and then Bell Hunt, and then Teferi. I won't hide Just the cards in their deck. I'm not done their cards are good. We have been running into uh, some of our opponents having awesome hands in this league. Do you want me to phase you out of time? Let's skip to the good part. <laughs> so many cards in hand. I have nothing but two Dreadhorde invasions over here. <laughs> My army will envelop this world. All right, we need to draw Hidana's climb here. <laughs> right. We're dead. Yeah, there's a new code from yesterday. Uh, the one at the bottom there. I don't remember what it was. Uh, Shields up. That's the one from, from yesterday. But those are all the no codes that work break. on Arena. There, if, if there's any from before that you haven't done. Help is easy to, have to give MTG bot a little bit of time because I just did the exclamation point code, so I won't do it immediately again. We need to move quickly. Smelly, but effective. Well, if our opponent has no removal and they don't play a blocker, like if they don't. Dang, they played the guild mate, the guard mage. I say if they don't play that card. There's 24 lands in this deck. Liliana ultimates there. It's going to kill us. Liliana's impossible to, to beat. All right, well, our deck was pretty sweet. Uh, we played a couple of opponents. You know, like the, the Esper and the Mono Red opponents had some really good hands. We had some really bad mulligans. At least against that Esper player. Our deck didn't really do anything too much either game. But that's what turn two Thought Erasure, turn three Thought Erasure, turn four Kaya's Wrath. And then, you know, Planeswalkers like Teferi and Liliana to cover that up. It's tough to beat that. Honestly, that's really good. 
Um, but our deck got to do some cool things uh, against some of the band players that we played against. We did get a couple of games. We got turn two, Dr- Dreadhorde Invasion, turn three, Hadana's Climb, and those were incredible, uh, killing our opponent really fast. Also, just Climb plus Hydroid Crasis. Uh, Hydroid Crasis is already pretty big, but then whenever you double its power for that Flying Trampler, that's really tough. But pretty sweet deck here. Pretty sweet deck. Um, yeah. All right, so if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you had some fun with it as well. Um, but there we go. That's it for Dreadhorse Climb. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for another video.